Okay, let me turn this off. Welcome back to the channel. We are about to go to the Southampton Flea. I'm so excited. I'm going with my mom, and my gram. And we're going to see Barbie tonight. I cannot wait. If it's true that Barbie is to, I saw this, Barbie is to mother and daughters as Afterson was to fathers and daughters. I'm out. I want to show you my outfit. I don't know if this is the best angle. I'll show you here and then I'll, I'll take you outside and show you. But, trusty steed. She's big. She's got room. Carrying this girl with me. I can fit my vlog camera so I can vlog. During this, we've got everything in here. Bag, Buffalo Exchange. She's classic. Hair's natural. I use the Tresemme Curl Mousse. This stuff, this top, little Victorian slip top. It's ripped in a couple places because it's just so delicate. Um, so I don't like to wear anything over it or under it really just to keep it as intact as I can. That I think was from the Brimfield Flea at my favorite booth, my favorite lady. She was just all Victorian stuff and it was quite literally to die for. Um, this belt, recently got it at Arf thrift store. I popped to two of my videos ago. When I was out here, I got it. There's no brand on it, but the brown and like the brass on it matches my boots particularly well. And I do enjoy that. So that's what's going down on the feet. Those boots are from Salvage Angel in Massachusetts. Found a dead mouse in them. That was really perfect. They're my mouse shoes. The bag doesn't necessarily, it's not my ideal bag. I think I would do this more for the vibes, but this fits more. We're choosing to be practical, knowing that we're going in. The two things I'm really looking for today, three actually, a dress for my cousin's wedding. We were hanging out with them all this weekend and I was like, yeah, I don't have a dress for your guys' wedding. He And they were like, mm, you need that. And I was like, okay. Um, his fiance is like so cute. She gave me some inspo. She showed me her dress. It's so beautiful. And I'm honored she showed it to me. It's going to be so pretty. But yeah, so dress for their wedding. And then a little birthday outfit. My birthday's this Wednesday. I'm doing like drinks and dessert. It's super casual. Did it like a year ago, I think, two years ago. That's a work night for everybody. So just like an hour or two hours. Just a little something, you know. But I'm gonna like work the whole day, so then after work we'll do that. We'll see. Yeah, we're not really we're not really popping off for this birthday. This this weekend is like my birthday celebration. So my one wish was just Southampton Flea and time with my girls. And I'm very excited. Third thing which could go with birthday, a tiered Victorian beaded choker. So specific, but I would die for one. A vintage Dior one, I will accept, <laughs> but probably can't afford. I wanted this video to center around the flea market because I obviously do like a try on haul and all that jazz for you guys. But I also filmed randomly my like little farmer's market outfit. So we'll put that in here and then I'll meet you at the flea. I'll see you there. Farmer's market outfit. with Ed Hardy Sunnies. This is thrifted. Bikini top is thrifted. My bloomers thrifted from Salad Dallas Tempe Single. Boots thrifted. On my lips, House Labs. Lip oil and primary. My favorite color. You calling me, Mom? Come on in. I was vlogging. No, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> this on and praying it fits. Hey! 
Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, I was gonna say, literally, ouch. What? Yeah, that's bad. Look at that outfit. Oh, this is where I wish I won the lottery. Yeah, actually. But we did. We're lucky in life. Heard that, Mom. Heard that. We're going to get some, I guess there's free iced coffees? Ralph Lauren? It's like the Polo Cafe thing. For free. Loving a free moment. Let's see if they still have it. How's everybody feeling? Feeling Hello. wonderful. It's a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. Theo John? Um, pretty cool car coming up on the left, so it's good. <laughs> oh, wow. No. Yeah, the Mini Cooper. Wow. Punch it. And her mom. Oh yes, Mom Kim Ma from Rocky Point. Kim? Yeah, Rocky shout Point. Out. Shout out. Yep. Love you guys. <laughs> Thanks for saying hi. Let's see. I'm propping you guys up in in my glasses case. Feeling like that needs to be fixed. Love that clown pillow right there. She's one of my faves. Okay. Okay. Hi guys. So I'm back from the flea market today. One of my favorite days of the year. Probably. Yeah. One of my favorite days of the year. I will say. Um. This will be our third time going. Um, and this year my grandma came, which she didn't come the last two years, they don't believe. I was worried though, obviously, because my mom and I could thrift for 48 hours straight. And it was like hot, but no, it was good. It was good, we figured out a balance, she chilled, we had, there were a lot of benches in the shade. We vibed, she shopped, and then she took a little bit. There was an ice cream truck, got some ice cream. There were free coffees. Okay, I'm acting as if I didn't vlog the entire thing. You guys know. Anyways, um, I want to show you what I got. I'm so excited. I checked off, I think I checked off both of the things that I wanted to get. I guess I wanted three things. Got two out of the three. Didn't find a Victorian <laughs> tiered choker um, at all. If not one under $100. Like that That was a crazy expectation anyways. That'll be an eBay Etsy find. Um, I did find an outfit for Ryan and Laura's wedding. My cousin's Ryan and he's marrying Laura angels angels um i cannot wait and i've been ugh, here's the thing i wanted something super unique but i did want to i didn't want to feel good it's my first like family wedding i wanted to feel confident good pretty gorgeous stunning so this isn't the most inherently like sexy beautiful like oh my god but it is unique and cool and it's so Carrie Bradshaw I can't even deal. I was going to lead with all the cotton white stuff because I'm wearing a piece. But let's just get Carrie Bradshaw out of the way. This is from Allegra Vintage. Shout out Michelle. I love you. I've run into Michelle like at a bunch of different flea markets. We really hit it off at Manhattan Vintage. But I literally love her. My grandma tried on... I'm trying to pull her up. I can just put the photo right here. She tried on this sick like, nubby knit of theirs. Oh my god, it was so cute, guys. Because my grandma looked so cute in it. And she got it. And it was so fab. So that was like the first round of hitting it. And then I'd seen this set. And I really wanted it, but it didn't fit me. But we're just going to tailor it. Because it's iconic. And I'm excited. And she gives a good deal on it. So here it is. Shout out Michelle. Allegra Vintage. Get into it. Do I have her card? I guess I didn't because I have her Instagram. I'll put her Instagram right here. Obsessed with all her stuff. She's so sick. Okay, so it's a two-piece set. Top and a skirt. The flower on the top. Bear with me here. 
Okay. Here's the top. Okay, it looks scary. Trust me, it's gonna look good on. Guys, I'm scared. It looks scary right now. It is kind of giving peplum, but it works. Peplum, but it works. And also I fear it's coming back, so whatever. Um, the back is so cool. It's like a little bustier button up back moment. This is the flower. Okay, look how fun she is. It's this plaid, it's fabulous. And it's on a little pin, so I could take it off and I could add it to anything I wanted, make a little choker out of it. I could wear the skirt that matches the skirt's plaid, wear the skirt as a dress, wear this as a little accessory, make another outfit. So I got like one, two, and then the skirt. You know what I mean? It's gonna fit really snatched. This I can't really do a try on because it doesn't necessarily fit me the best yet, but this is gonna be super snatched. I'm gonna have, I think I'm gonna do an updo. And then the skirt, guys. So it's like, it's asymmetrical, the skirt. And this is the little waist. And I'm gonna have them make it a little low waisted. A little bit of skin in between. Not too crazy, because I wanna be keep it classy. That was part of why I got this, that I feel like, you know. We're on the, we're on the groom side, so the bride's always I'm thinking bride's always important. I want I don't want to show up in some dress that she's gonna be like, well, Chloe really went crazy on this one. Like I want her to feel good and confident. I want her to be happy with what everybody's in and feel good, you know. And I don't want to, you know, put a Kendall Jenner in this dress to whatever whoever's wedding she's. <laughs> People were dragging her for wearing this dress, but it, it was kind of funny. I thought it was kind of funny. Um, but you know what I mean. So. Yeah, it's this skirt, but I'm obsessed. All of this together was 200. I know it's a little crazy, but it's vintage. Well, I'll have these pieces for forever. I can wear this independent by itself. I can wear this by itself with jeans. I can wear this by itself with anything. So I love it. I think with a really sexy heel, one that gives Manolo vibes, but isn't one because I'm not trying it on because it doesn't really fit me right now. Okay, but I promise you it's gonna look good. I hope. Um, heels wise, I could pull out any color in the plaid. The options are endless with that, but I'm so excited. Literally on the tag, it says very Carrie Bradshaw. It's so her, I can't. Which makes you think I have to do with my curly hair in an updo and not so sleek. So we'll see. Or maybe I'll do a trial hair makeup just for fun. Maybe I'll show you guys. Who knows? But that was Allegra Vintage. She slayed. That's all I got from Allegra, but my grandma got this. Shout out to my she looks so good. I was like, wait, you're so cool for buying that? And I'm gonna borrow it, so don't get rid of it. My grandma and my mom are excessive cleaners. They love a closet clean out. Oh my God, so do I. It's in her blood. But they didn't think that they would have a daughter or a granddaughter that like, God, God forbid, liked clothing. God forbid. We were walking around half the shops. They were like, oh my God, I had this as a kid. Oh my God, I wore this to high school every day. I was like, you know? Now I'm buying it for a hundred dollars. And I could have had a real vintage and it could have been yours. Whatever. Okay. Now let's get into Frenchie. Let's get into Francois. Icon himself. Uh, icon. Um, I'm gonna put this picture up because he's saying this is him literally today. Um, Instagram's of leisure. I'm obsessed. All 40s, 50s, 60s, like true, true vintage, all cotton, hand washed. Like he kept everything so clean, so beautiful. He had the best prices for this kind of stuff. A lot of like Victorian stuff as well. The best prices. This was like a clip from where I, I was at his booth when I filmed this. Like just look how much shit he has, like for the perfect cotton, prairie, anything. Like, hello. So good, and he had other cool like denim pieces. He had men's bloomers, women, like it just really, really cool stuff and like pretty affordable prices and he was so chill about like whatever. Oh, if you wanna buy those two, I'll do it for like a hundred or like things like that. So he was like bloomer, like skirts 50, like $50 for like the perfect authentic French countryside cotton skirt from like the 50s. Like what do you mean? Crazy, crazy. So first thing I got from him also, God bless that man. He gave me this dress that I'm wearing right now. It's a little big because the section that I picked out from, whatever, let me explain my story. My mom and my grandma met up with me. I was like chatting to him and we were like shopping and my mom and Graham came over and I was like, hi guys. Like, my, my mom was like, oh my God, Chloe, this is your booth. And I was like, I know. 
but she was like oh my god like this would be perfect for your birthday like this would be so pretty because there was like a corset cover top that you guys know i die for and he was like oh my god it's your birthday and i was like in a couple of days three days to be exact and is it the 23rd yeah in three days yes yeah, 23rd woof he was like oh okay like from any of this section just pick something you get it for free take it for free it's your birthday i was like j'adore too <laughs> my mom kept trying to speak french and i was like oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> no it was cute it was so cute i'm obsessed with my mom duh i'm not trying to drag her but it was everything no it was so fun and he was so nice for that i couldn't even believe it but the section that he kind of sectioned off were like basic slips so i snagged this one let me, let me show you so pretty i like the thick straps and it just goes to here and it's so cute like the easiest thing to throw on you can wear bloomers under it, anything, wear a bathing suit cover up, farmer's market, just your classic cotton slip. Totally, I'm wearing pants under this. Anyways, these pants are from this brand. Shout out. I'm adding their Instagram here. They're so fab. They're like the comfiest pants ever. Okay, trying to find the same angle I had. Got to be consistent. So this was the dress that he gifted me for my birthday. It was really nice. Anyways, love him skirt that I bought from him this gorgeous guys I wish you could feel this softest cotton ever skirt from France with like a little button and it's so cute and it's kind of sheer you see what I mean so like it'll be so cute with like bloomer underwear a thong a bikini a little bodysuit something really fabulous I think this would be really stinking cute bloomers underneath the bloomers that I got would be so cute underneath it so yeah, I love this. We were saying it's like the perfect skirt to put on like post beach, like if you got a little sunburn. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So that, and it's like pure white, it's so clean. Like how is that so clean? There's not a single stain on it. And I have a million vintage things that I paid equal amount and they were covered in stains. But I'm like, it's Victorian, you know? But he was able to clean it so well. He was like, some people don't even believe me when I tell them the time period it's from because it's so clean and so white. And I'm like, yeah, because you did that. Anyways, he didn't get to clean these, <laughs> so fair enough. They're a little busted, he said. He like gave me a good discount. I think I got both these pieces for 100, which was crazy. Like the band is a little torn, but like I don't care because that's the back. This is the front, it kind of dips down. And then just a little bloomer pant, like a little bloomer capri moment. Secured with a little button. Got the little like rose detail, so cute. And they would just be so cool under the skirt, which we're gonna try to put on right now and I'm gonna model it for you. Lowy, they're fabulous and I don't have a pant bloomer, kind of like longer capri bloomer. So those are gonna be fabulous. I feel like I'm gonna get so much wear out of them and they'll be like a good transition piece between summer and fall, you know what I mean? I can wear them under a bunch of stuff, good layering piece and by themselves. So very happy about those two pieces. He's the best. TT actually put me on to his shop because they were next door and she was like, you have to go see his vintage, it's crazy. But here's TT's card major i'll put her instagram as well up so good so shout out to her as well i like loved her stuff but i didn't get anything but her um like selection was so good then last two things also white and like victorian which is so funny this was a luna's vintage i tried to get guys i got literally every time i go somewhere okay i'm getting everybody's card at the end of the day that's what i'm doing because i'm following everybody and i want to make everybody contacts and fabulous people like i just one of my favorite things to do ever is go to flea markets and talk to people about their shit like it's the greatest thing ever so much fun here she is this is where i went aluna's vintage for the love of vintage aluna's underscore vintage gorge tag aluna's vintage in your new item get 10 percent off your next order first thing i got little crop little collared prairie top forget about it so stinking cute it's that crisp perfect crisp white and then a more this is a bit more ivory. I really wanted like a classic Victorian top. This was this was like 50, I think this was 65. Like the best prices I could find there. Like I found so many similar tops to this section and they'd be going for 152, 250. Gorgeous girl with the high neck, the ruffle, the like quarter length sleeve, with the cinch. So stinking cute. I'll try this on as well. But 
his outfit. This with like that one Carrie Bradshaw picture that everybody's obsessed with when she's wearing the cotton top and the Adidas shorts and she's like skipping around her neighborhood. That's like the blueprint for so many outfits that I've seen in the world right now. Like a cotton cute vintage top and like athletic shorts. This is kind of perfect for that. This will look like an Adidas Capri and a Manolo heel that I don't own, but a little kitten heel, please, for the love of God. So these two tops, I think it was like 110 together from Aluna's Vintage. So I got these and I got bottoms from Francois. So now I can wear them together. And I think this might be a fabulous little birthday moment. I think that could be cute with a pair of heels and like fun hair and makeup, pop of color, lip. And then Kieran's making me my matcha strawberries and cream cake. That'll be a really cute vibe. I, of course, this is my own fault, but like didn't, haven't had much time um, after work to, when I'm not working to like, scour the internet for a good vintage dress on like all the five websites that I shop on and like find the perfect dress and then the necklace and then the earrings and then cure it the whole fit like I was able to do the other year because this slayed and I will say this neck piece when my mom made this and then Harry Styles copied me kidding kidding um but yeah I'll, literally that birthday was at the flower shop so I'm doing kind of the same thing but like a bit more casual literally after work I'm trying to still do as much as I was doing when I wasn't working full-time like trying to like book shoots and styling two shows this fashion week I can't even guys we need to catch up and we will and I promise that we will but yeah that stuff styling extra shoots i'm styling a fashion film with emma craft which i can't wait for trying to also like do influencing youtube book jobs that way just like connecting with people meeting people for coffee that i want to work with eventually or just literally seeing people like it's just I'll, after working all day i like come back do emails continue to work but i'm gonna shut up and stop complaining and then i kind of want to show you guys this too because why not my mom stopped into the Times Vintage in Greenport on the way here. She was coming from Massachusetts and took the ferry here. And that's like one of our, that's like what we do when we take the ferry, we stop in Greenport and we go to Times Vintage because that store is one of the greatest stores I've ever been to. And some of the best people ever, Liz who like owns it. And then Ricky, her boyfriend who like did all of the like architecture and all the pieces in there. It's just like, I would move in there. It's the coolest store ever. Like you have to go if you have the chance. They have the coolest stuff. They do sales, which is awesome. They do like consignment. You could bring in stuff, buy from you. Their stuff from like every decade. They sell like really good quality pieces for I think affordable prices that make sense um, for what they're selling you. You know what I mean? They're not trying to like rip you off genuinely. Um, every accessory you could ever imagine, designer stuff, not designer stuff, like coolest, coolest. It's like a time capsule. It's so beautiful. So my mom stopped in there on the way here. She bought me this for my birthday, which was very cute. It's this little like, cardigan kind of bolero vibe tan with this like fur kind of lapel moment and then lace on the inside which is such a cool detail i like don't really see very much but it clasps at the bottom the clasp is gonna be so fun to style like in the fall winter super fat let me let me throw her on but this was on sale because i think she had it in the store for a while and it's obviously like off season real cashmere which is crazy it feels so lovely it's gonna look cray with this with this dress but how cute with the bandana like this vibe is so terrifying it so doesn't go but you get it we're gonna style her right okay we're gonna do her justice that was really fun my mom got me some cute other things and from our like local thrift store savers back home this fun vase handmade it was, like somebody fully spun this handcrafted the little flowers and the orange stripes and I think it's such a fun vase. And a lot of my vases back in New York like are just the clear classic glass vases and they don't really have much flavor. And orange is my favorite color. She did good. I bought a two piece pink set that I'm gonna wait to show you because I'm wearing it tonight to Barbie. <gasps> yeah, I bought a Barbie outfit. I brought like a pink graphic tee to wear but I thrifted a little two piece set and it's too perfect not to wear to Barbie. So good, it's like, kind of like a vintage PJ, little crop and like a high-waisted pant. I'm excited to show you guys, but we're gonna put that on tonight, so I'll show you guys that. Yeah, stay tuned for my little Barbie outfit of the night, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching the Southampton Fleet vlog vintage haul try on moment. Yep. Also, literally, Cassie, I'm shouting you out. I'm shouting you out, I'm talking about you. <laughs> I know you don't want me to, but you were the greatest and you made my day. You and your mom were like absolutely the best vibe ever, and 
we could have gabbed all day. And thank you so much for watching my videos. That makes my life. I can't believe you guys are like out in the world, all around the world, just watching me. Like teeny, teeny bop around. I don't even know. I don't even know. Sometimes I'm picking up my camera and I'm like, who am I talking to? Like what? Do people even, how do people care? How do people care? But then I sit down and I turn on YouTube and I'm like, I care so much about so many random people. Again, YouTube remains my favorite platform of all time. Just grabbing my stack. I leave tomorrow, which is literally so sad. Um, but I'm so glad I got to spend time with my grandmama. This was the first time I saw her this summer. So it was very lovely. Um, she made me my birthday cake tonight, which is a Tate's icebox cake get into that i think it's a barefoot contessa um recipe and i'm going to link it if i can find it online because it is my favorite cake of all time and I'll, i do want to just thank you for watching so much because i don't know if i'll do like a outro after i show you my barbie i don't know maybe i will but i just want to say how much i love you guys and you're the best and thank you for sticking around and watching me i know these past few videos all the vlogs and things are just kind of in a way I haven't done like a styling video in a while or like more of a conceptual idea and just like I really want to film my flea market video I want to do with my part two of all the vintage and thrift stores in New York I really want to do more theories include some friends interview some people just like ideas are brewing but I haven't had time to execute which is very frustrating but hopefully that'll come with time and I hope you enjoy these videos just on their own. I don't know. I appreciate you for watching and being fabulous and commenting and just being great. So I appreciate you. I will see you in next week's video. I'll show you my final birthday outfit, the cake, the vibes. I don't know. But I think I'll do like a 24th birthday vlog situation. Another vlog. I'm sorry. It's what I can do at the moment. But yeah, I'm going to open up my little cake. If you guys remember from last year's 23rd birthday video. Um, I have a ceramic cake that I put a little wish in for the year to come and I opened last year's wish on my birthday to read what I had manifested and hopefully it'll come true. Um, I always get a little bit bold I feel like in those so we'll see but I'll open that up with you guys. We'll do a little journal sesh. We'll make it cute because I want to make it cute. I'm going to work so I just want to set the vibe, set the intentions before have a little moment. Okay. I love you guys and it was such a treat that I got to meet one of you. Can I shout out again? Okay. Love ya. I will see you next week. This is the look. Neck piece from Tyler McGill. Very shoot. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs>